What's up guys, Fishbricks85 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this behemoth, a Dreadnoughtus. Check it out, it's actually a dinosaur name I know how to pronounce. Dreadnoughtus, which as you may or may not know means fear nothing. And this is one beast of a figure, as you can see. Um, unfortunately, my box received some damage. I didn't notice this. I tried to get the least damaged box I could find. And um, this one looks like it received like a box cutter to it. So I'm not real happy about that because uh, when it comes to these seropods, I, I don't really collect a lot of boxes from the Jurassic franchise, but I do try to collect the seropod boxes because the artwork on these and uh, the size of these things are just absolutely awesome. I actually have my Apatosaurus box and I have my Brachiosaurus box and I want to get the uh, new version of the Brachiosaurus once it hits stores um, and I will probably even keep that box even though I already have one but um, I've been looking forward to getting this thing open so let's do that right now. All right. With that being said, that should that doesn't completely do it. I still gotta do this side right here. So let's see. There we go. And uh, this is just a design on how to put this guy together. So with that being said and done, let's pull out all the parts and build us a Dreadnoughtus. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Man, I've seen pictures and videos and the artwork and stuff, but uh, you really don't get a feel for this thing until you actually have it in front of you. Um, that's the tail. Part of the tail. That's not even the whole tail. Wow, that's unusual. Um, and then I guess this is the body. And then the rest of the tail is down there. So, let's go in there and pull that out. Okay, so we have the tail, the tail, the head, and the body right here. So guys, let me get this thing put together and we'll take a look at this giant, gorgeous dinosaur. Oh my goodness, I am happy and giddy to get this thing put together. Wow, I am standing here in complete and total awe of this Dreadnoughtus. This thing, like I said, it doesn't do justice until you have it right in front of you. It's big, it's bad. And it's in charge, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this thing. This was so worth getting. It's beautiful. Let's just take a minute just in awe of the gorgeous detail on this thing. It looks like I'm looking at it right out of the movie. This just reminds me of a when they were flying over in Dominion and uh, Alan said, is that a, is that Dreadnoughtus? And the guy said, yes, as you know, uh, his name means uh, fear nothing. And I can see why this is one of the largest seropods. Um, this thing probably didn't have to fear a whole lot of stuff. It probably lived its life in peace. I, I would think, I don't know. I don't know if there was a lot of predators uh, trying to kill this guy or not, but uh, I can't imagine there being with the size of this thing. Um, it's got to be one of the largest seropods. I don't know a lot about it. I haven't done any actual research. Um, but from the way the movie betrayed it and from the way it looks, I, I'm pretty sure. So with that being said, I want to pop up the... Uh, there we go. You guys can go ahead and scan that if I can get it clear for you. Hold on. I know blurry like that. You're not going to be able to. There we go. So you guys can uh, use the scan code and go ahead and scan this into your app real quick so that way you guys can have Dreadnoughtus. Um, I'm looking forward to actually scanning this in and seeing what it's like in the app. Um, but anyway, this has been the video, you guys. And this is the beautiful, gorgeous Dreadnoughtus. And this thing is absolutely amazing and outstanding. 
fantastic. Uh, I have no words for how gorgeous this thing is. I absolutely love the colors, everything about this. Uh, I'm really looking forward. This is going to really help me with my pictures and my videos. And I look forward to doing some stuff with Dreadnoughtus. Let's close the mouth on that. Uh, the head can actually move up and down and side to side. But uh, thank goodness the joints are actually pretty stiff. And uh, I don't want to have to worry about loosening them up. So I'm not going to show on camera. But you can see there's a joint right here and it moves side to side. And then there's a joint right here to move up and down. And then the tip of the tail actually had to be connected to the rest of the tail and it can actually turn and move um so we get a little bit more function a little bit more joints and movability on uh this one than we did the other two seropods but uh mattel is just knocking it out of the park with their seropod game um these are the the type of figures and dinosaurs we wanted as children and now as an adult to see this come true like why would i not buy this why would i not fulfill my uh childhood dreams as an adult with these figures and i'm just so happy mattel is doing this for us so with that being said guys fish bricks 85 you know what it is um just for the pure beauty and size of this creature make sure you smash on that likes button uh give this one a big thumbs up guys and as always we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching dread Nottis thanks you for watching this video as he is super happy to be here and so am I, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Thank you for coming to the channel and watching the vids. As always, look forward to seeing you guys in the comments next time. Have a great day, guys.